Hi, Dean Bowman, your Nissan Insider. Today we're going to take a look at the Nissan Maxima. One of the first things you'll notice about Maxima is its wide aggressive stance. The designers work closely with the engineers to develop a wide fender design that until now we've only seen on exotic sports coupes. They push the manufacturing process to its limits to create a door with such aggressive contours. The wide fender look is bookended with these unique headlights and taillights that are coined the boomerang design. Maxima has plenty of space to bring along your stuff. The trunk is massive. It easily devours this cooler, and there's still plenty of space to bring along multiple golf bags. There's well thought out storage up front. There's a bin here that's felt lined with a power outlet, perfect for charging a cell phone. There's a dual level center console here. Hit the left button to reveal a shallow area that's felt lined and has a cord pass through. Hit the button on the right to reveal the deeper bin. There's a place for coins, a USB input, some audio video inputs, yet another power source, and an available pocket here that's perfect to keep your iPod from rolling around. And the coolest is having a lockable glove box so deep, it easily stores my laptop. When sitting in Maxima's driver's seat, it's clear you're in a high performance cockpit. For example, the designers call this the holding layer. It's where the center console comes inward to give you support on the right. The door is closer to the driver to give you support on the left. And the seat has deep bolsters on the bottom and on the back to help hold your body. And for even more support, you can add a lower seat extension. Plus, it features a small diameter steering wheel, leather wrapped with a unique flat parallel stitching. It has well-placed grips and perforations ideal for performance driving. They even tilted the tachometer, so the red line is right at the top. The transmission is offset to be closer to the driver and is available in four different modes. You can go to Drive, you can go to DS for a sport mode, you can use the manual mode, or use the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. Even the back passengers get the performance treatment with the available rear bucket seats. Maxima isn't just about being a sports car. It has premium features and technologies that you might only expect to find in a luxury vehicle. A technology that once you have, you won't be able to live without is the Nissan Intelligent Key. For example, it's a sunny day and you don't want to get into a hot car. Just hold the unlock button down for a couple seconds and the windows roll down. Or if you accidentally left them down and you want to put them back up, all you have to do is release the secret key on the back of the intelligent key and turn it and the windows go back up. So now for the intelligent part of the intelligent key. It's for when you get into the vehicle. You just need to have the key in your pocket or in a purse next to you. To press the button on the door handle here, once to unlock it, twice to unlock all the doors, and you're in. If you have the available memory seat system, you can program each of the intelligent keys to one of the two different settings. So when you get in the vehicle and start it, the mirrors, the seat, and the steering wheel all adjust to your personal settings. To start the Maxima, all you have to do is have the intelligent key somewhere in the car, push the button, car starts. No more key in the ignition. On cold mornings, there's available heated seats up front. Even the steering wheel warms up. Dual climate control is standard, so front passengers can have their own temperature settings. You can even add rear air conditioning controls in the back. With the available Bluetooth hands-free phone system, you no longer have to charge these little guys. Just go ahead and sync your phone up with the audio system and use the buttons on the steering wheel to make and receive your phone calls. You can control your iPod a couple of different ways. The standard setup allows you to plug it directly into the stereo. Now you use the iPod to control your music. Or you can get the available audio video inputs, which is located in the center console. This allows you to not only play the music, but video from your iPod. Or you can get the USB interface. You go ahead and plug it in use the buttons on the steering wheel or this unique controller. As you can see, the controller not only looks like the iPod interface, but functions like it as well. Use the outer wheel to scroll and the middle button hit enter. The mirrors are pretty trick. You can add home link, which can be programmed to open garage or security gate doors. You no longer have to carry those remotes. The auto dimming feature reduces glare at night. You can even add this feature to the driver's side mirror. Move the selector to either side and the mirrors will automatically tilt downward when you engage reverse helps you keep an eye on the pesky curbs. If you want even more assistance while backing up, you can get the available rear view monitor. Maxima's navigation system goes well beyond just helping you from getting lost. It has information and entertainment features that will make your daily commute that much more enjoyable. First, you have to pick your map view. You can have 2D, 3D, or a combination of the two via split screen. We'll go with 3D. You can get real-time traffic updates. As you can see, the green goes to orange to red to show where the congestion is. 
You can navigate through millions of listings like ATMs, hotels, gas stations, and restaurants. There's even Zagat restaurant ratings available. You can get today's weather report or a three-day forecast. You can use a touchscreen to make phone calls via Bluetooth. You can even play songs from your phone's music player right through the stereo via Bluetooth. If you're using the USB input, you can use the touchscreen for the iPod as well. You can play your MP3s off a CD, DVD-ROM, or a USB thumb drive. There's an internal 9.3 gigabyte hard drive called the Music Box. It allows you to store songs from your CDs into the head unit and create your own playlists. You can even watch DVD movies when the car is in park and the emergency brake is on. 